Here's a quick video on the lead wrist and how it works the top of the backswing and into the downswing. So uh, before I get started, there are four uh, ways that the wrist will move and you can move them through the swing. So one is, uh, it's called radial deviation. So that's where the thumb gets closer to the forearm. One is called ulnar deviation. That's where the thumb moves away from the forearm, moves down. And then the other two are, we have flexion, where the wrist moves away from the back of the forearm, the knuckles move towards the inside of the forearm. And then there's extension, where the knuckles move towards the back of the forearm, or it's a cupping motion, so bowing or cupping. Um, and, and I wanted to mainly point out the word lag. So many people think that that is purely the angle between the left arm, the lead arm, and the shaft. That the narrower that is, the better. But what happens is when the left wrist or the lead wrist begins to create too much hinge or radial deviation, trying to gain more hinge or lag, it's going to send the wrist into an extension position. So you see that lead wrist, the more I try to hinge, the more the lead wrist starts to cup. And when that happens, that's going to leave the shaft very vertical and the face open. And the fix to this, or the compensation at the bottom, is to tilt the body to the right, pull the torso out of the shot, stand the shaft up. That's about the only way to fix the face from that position. So this, the ulnar deviation, would appear to be more of a casting motion. But the more my lead wrist can move into ulnar deviation, the more that you can create a bowing or the flexion of the lead wrist. So when that happens, no, it does not look as narrow or lag, but I can create forward shaft lean there by getting my wrist position in order. Now from the down the line view, we'll see that, again, if I create ulnar and flexion, now the shaft is shallower and the face is relatively closed in comparison, so I can deliver a shallow shaft with forward shaft lean. So just a quick video on how the wrist works and uh, how that affects the shaft and the club face versus these four moves. Thank you.